all new this morning. If your allergies are really bad this morning, like Mitch's, <laughs> you can thank the great outdoors. Many of you probably got outside to enjoy the sunshine this weekend. I get, it's all foggy. I can't even see that teleprompter. Yeah. I think it's Connor. <laughs> I think she's here to tell us our dry winter weather yes, is here. making the allergy season worse. <laughs> yes, Mitch, I'm feeling the allergies this morning too, definitely. And the season started even earlier this year. Trees started budding in February and March. All that rain we saw last week did help at least for a moment. I spoke with an allergy physician about some of the biggest allergens we are seeing right now. Ash is a really big pollinator. People tend to be very positive to ash. Trees are very common. The grass season in Colorado is, is strong. Like it, it spikes right about now. In the last hour, I told you about the scratch testing and shot treatment people can get if they are really experiencing those bad allergies. A lot of you probably take antihistamines and nose sprays on an as needed basis, and that can be helpful. But doctors say if you are just not getting any better and feel like you have a constant cold, it may be time to get checked out. And as for our kids, food allergies tend to show up first when your little one is just an infant. But environmental allergies don't typically start showing up until ages three or four.